Guys, what are these bugs that everyone is talking about these days? Do you mean viruses? There are loads of different viruses. Let's go ask my uncle. He works over in the children's hospital. There are two main types of germs that can make us sick, bacteria and viruses. My teacher says bacteria are all around us. Many are goodies and help us stay well, and some can be baddies. And viruses are a different type of germ. Most viruses don't make us too sick. I don't like being sick. How do we get better? Our immune systems are amazing things. They help our body fight off lots of illnesses, and more often than not, can help you feel back to normal. Our own army protecting us? Cool. I didn't need antibiotics when I broke my leg. My mommy says rest and drinking fluids make us feel better. And sometimes taking medicines if we have the fever or pain. That's right. Many of these things will help us feel better. How do we stop getting sick in the first place? Is there anything we can do? Yes, we can wash our hands often and if we ever get a cold, cover our noses and mouths when we sneeze. I like sneezing. It's fun. Yes, but it's important we don't share our germs with other people. What about antibiotics? Do they help us fight off the germs? Antibiotics are super drugs when used in the right way. But they only work on illnesses caused by bacteria. So, they don't work on colds or flus, isn't that right? Yes, taking antibiotics for some illnesses won't make you feel any better and can sometimes make you feel worse. How do we know if it's bacteria or a virus making us sick? Mostly, it's viruses that make children sick, but sometimes it can be bacteria. That's when our parents take us to see you, isn't that right? Yes, and one of us will listen to your story, examine you, and will let you and your parents know if an antibiotic will help. Why can't we all get antibiotics, just in case? Over time, using antibiotics the wrong way can make them not work at all, when you really need them. This is called antibiotic resistance. That sounds bad. Oh no, does that make the infection much harder to treat? Yes, in parts of the world, some people are very sick and can't get better because of infections resistant to all types of antibiotics. That's so sad. Can't we make n any new antibiotics to beat the smart bacteria? It's not that easy, unfortunately. We really are running out of options. What can we do to help? Well, just like you guys already said, wash your hands regularly and cover your nose and mouth when sneezing. Yes, speak to your friends, teachers and parents and teach them the differences about bacteria and viruses. Tell them how antibiotics don't work on viruses. I'm going to tell them we need to be smart to help save antibiotics. Only use them when we need them. In fact, we're going to help save the planet. Great idea. We're antibiotic heroes! To find out more about how to be an antibiotic hero, speak to your doctor, nurse or pharmacist.